Hi, I'm Mika from 3B2 and today I'm going to show you two experiments based on pressure. Both experiments are really simple and basic but it will help prove to us that air has pressure. For the first experiment, I'm going to take this crumpled pile of tissue paper and stuff it inside this glass cup. I'm going to put it all the way inside so that it will stick to the bottom. Now watch what happens when I submerge the cup into the water. Now as you can see, the tissue is still perfectly dry. This is because when the cup is submerged into the water, the air will be compressed a little, therefore water will enter the cup. However, the air will immediately push back the water, preventing it from reaching the tissue paper. The compressed air serves as a barrier between the tissue and the water. This is why the tissue remains dry. It's just like how two people cannot occupy the same space at the same time. The same rules apply to matter that two matter cannot occupy the same space simultaneously. For the next experiment, I'm going to show you how water can form an airtight seal due to air pressure. For this experiment, you will need any cut and a small glass cup or any kind of cup. Now first, place the cut into the water. Next, fill the cup with a fair amount of water in it. Now place the cut on top of the cup. Now watch what happens when I turn the cup upside down. As you can see that the water forms an airtight seal which sticks the cut on the cup. This is because due to atmospheric pressure, there exerts a bigger force on the cut than the water does. This is how the cut is sealed to the bottom of the cup. the cut on top of the cup. Now watch what happens when I turn the cup upside down. Shhh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>